I know what you're thinking. Right now, Kim's gonna make some reference to everything being bigger in Texas. I guess I just did. So, welcome to Rearview Mirror. The season is winding down for the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series as both headed south to battle it out in the Lone Star State. The Xfinity Series kicked things off Saturday and, shocker, Christopher Bell notched his eighth win of the season, leading 101 laps of the 200 lap event. But it wasn't all rainbows and butterflies for Bell, or any of the playoff contenders for that matter. Bell had some brake issues early, Gregson went for a spin, Custer makes a hell of a save on a restart, and Reddick, well, just roll the tape. But live, you have Reddick almost spinning in. Reddick does spin into the inside wall hard. Just ran out of talent and wrecked our car in a pretty spectacular fashion. You're never safe. I just proved it right there. So we had a lot better cushion than that. At least we're plus 23 still right now and not like some of the other guys weighed below the cut line. You ain't kidding, brother. Speaking of that cut line, it's going to be an exciting race next Saturday as Bell is the only playoff driver to clench a spot in Homestead. So let the games begin. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Tony Stewart on one hell of a weekend in Texas. He turned laps in a stock car, ran a sprint car race, got inducted into the Texas Motorsports Hall of Fame, and even stopped by the trackside live stage. Way to go, Tony. The only one that's even tried to have a real fight this year drives for me. Actually, both of them, two of them. At least Daniel and Clint will actually try to legitimately fight and aren't, and aren't scared to do it. I mean, it's if you're gonna talk the talk, by God, walk the walk, quit acting like a bunch of candy out there. Classic smoke. I think it's safe to say that after the post-race scuffle in Martinsville, all eyes were looking to Texas to see if things would heat up both on and off the track. The racing action, not the weather, because it was apparently kind of chilly in Texas. One of Tony's all-star wheelmen started the race on the pole, and as I'm sure you guessed, there was some early drama for a couple playoff contenders. Chase Elliott got into the wall, putting his championship hopes in serious doubt, then Denny Hamlin went for an interesting ride through the grass. Both were able to continue, but Denny at least had an optimistic outlook heading to Phoenix. Well, the car and the effort will be there, <laughs> that, that's for sure. In, in these circumstances, um, I, like, I, like, I like the challenge. Kyle Larson looked like he had a hot rod and might be able to clinch a spot at Homestead, but a little loose lug nut and a bubble wall spin put the 42 a lap down. He's got some work to do in Phoenix. We used to have Kevin Harvick penciled in as the winner whenever we went to Phoenix, but it's starting to look like Texas might just be where he keeps his lucky horseshoe hidden these days. Happy's been on the verge of breaking through and getting a win in the playoffs this year, and well, he stepped up his game and delivered in a big way, getting his third straight win at Texas in the playoffs by overcoming a pit road penalty and having to battle the ever tough to pass Ryan Newman. Harvick's win tied him with his boss, Tony Stewart, with 49 career wins. Well, like it's here, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just happened. I was around in the neighborhood this yeah, week, right. so you know it's cool to be here and be a part of it with him. But you know I can promise you he's going to far surpass this, and I would say there's a really good shot in seven days that stat will be non-existent again. Okay, so we have two races left in all three of NASCAR's top touring series, so make sure you tighten up those belts because it's going to be a wild ride as we head to the Valley of the Sun and ISM Raceway next week. So be sure to check back in next week as we recap all the racing action on Rearview Mirror.